Good day, Internet. Mr. Thane back at it again with another teaching tips video. Now, today I'm going to talk about something that has worked in the minds of children from the dawn of time. Today, we're talking about the countdown. Okay, so we've all we know the countdown we've got it from an early age you know when you were young and you're running around outside and your mom said time to come in and you're like no and she's like okay one two and you're like oh what happens when she gets to three ah <gasps> you know and you never got to three i mean you've never got to three otherwise you wouldn't be here today right like we you don't if you get to three, you don't make it, right? So um, anyways, so innately, there's something about a countdown that just sort of like drives us. We just start doing stuff when there's a countdown. It's weird, right? So you can actually use it sort of like in teaching too, but you know, there's no consequence for getting to three, like, you know, with mom. But anyways, um, you can actually use it with teaching too. So what I do is anytime I give a great direction and um, I'm plugging another video I did about giving good directions, after you give your great direction and you narrate, see what I did there? I have another video about narrating too. But you count down. So here, I'm going to give you a quick example. All right, time is up. The timer went off. It's time to put our whiteboards and markers away. Let's see if all the tables can have all their materials put away safely by the time I get to zero. Let's see who can do it. All right, ten. Markers, whiteboards away. Nine. Eight. Seven, markers, whiteboards, put them away. Six, we're putting our whiteboards in our desks. Five, we're putting the cap on our markers, hearing that snap sound. Five, four, almost there. Three, ooh, green table's already done. Two, one, and zero. Let me check who has all their stuff put away. See what I did there, I counted down. When you give a countdown, it gives them a goal to reach. Right? Just like when you were young and trying to get back before mom got to three. Except for we are incentivizing when they get to zero. Maybe you give them a table point if that's your system. But remember, when you're giving a countdown, you need to also narrate in between each numbers, reminding the kids of what they should be doing during the countdown so they're not just sitting there. So, counting down. Again, don't forget it. On every direction that you give, you can do a quick countdown. You can even go, all right, I need all eyes on me. Voice is quiet in five, four. Whose eyes do I have? Three. Yellow table, I have your eyes. Great. Two. All eyes on teacher. One and zero. And then you can begin talking. So counting down is another great strategy to be using in your classroom. Go ahead and watch my video on narrating and giving clear directions. And if you use all three of these tips and strategies together, it's going to be a great year for you. So again, as always, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Leave a like. Find me on Facebook and Twitter. Make it a great day.